Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to build this clock tower. It is a common request that I received among the comment sections and um, personal requests that I should build a design and uh, show you guys how to build it. So yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I have the material list for the build here. And as you can see here, these are the dimensions for the build so that you can plan while or before putting it into your city where exactly it would fit the best if you have to make free space or if not. So let's just jump right into the tutorial. The stone brick block on the ground marks our entrance. So this is where the door is going to be. So from here on, I want to expand this side by two stone brick blocks to each side and then make a turn using this one block here in the middle, then two blocks, and then place an oak wood in the middle. And then once around the build, I'm gonna continue this. And what I'm gonna do in, in this to save us some time is I'm gonna record this side, because there's a door over here, and this side, because this side is the same thing as the other ones. So um, at the bottom floor, this side is gonna be a little bit different, and once we continue to the upper floors, there's not going to be any difference between them, so I'm continuing to record these two. So first of all, what I want to do is to take logs and make this pillar here six blocks high with one block or one log showing towards us. And we're going to do the same thing here, except for I'm going to delete these two blocks for the door. Right here, and I'm going to take stone bricks and first of all fill in this row here in the middle as well as adding one more row to this, uh, to these three rows, so that these three are each two blocks high. Doing the same thing on this side, of course, like here. And then going to continue placing 12 more blocks, so two pillars of each six blocks high in these corners to the inside, so that the final shape we end up with on the inside is three blocks here in this row, then one block, three here, and three blocks once again, and then having a circle like this, of course, like that. Okay, now this is the basic shape, pretty ugly. So now I wanna decorate it and, yeah, make it prettier. First of all, I wanna add uh, this row here, which is going to start with an upside down stone brick stair, then one stone brick on top, and then an upside down stair again. Same thing here. And I'm gonna do the same thing, this is gonna be easier like that. Then here I wanna leave this one block free and place one stone brick there. And now for the doorway, which is over uh, right over here, I wanna add those two stone brick blocks here, take stone brick stairs and make a kind of archway. Adding two more stairs here, two upside down stairs at the bottom, and one stone brick slab here, so that this half of, of this log block is still showing. So this is our archway for the entrance. Now down here I want to add two stairs, so that this quarter of this inner block is still showing. And of course here as well. And over here. And now on all the rest of the three sides, so th this one, this one, and this one over here, I want to add one, log, uh, one uh, stone brick stair like this, stone brick block with a stone brick stair on top, like that. Of course, I need to add these two here and this one there. And now I want to take cobblestone walls and place one here, two up here, one there. So one on top of these upside down stairs, two on top of this log, uh, on top of this block and one here. All right, and simply to show you like this. So this is the bottom floor. To expand to the second one, I want to first of all use stairs and make these five stairs, like this, so that we have two stairs to this side, counting from the end of this block. And the third one is going to be a corner stair, and then we're going to create a few corner stairs up until we are at the same level, at the same block as this overhanging log here. And then once again to this side, so same thing here, two logs overhanging. Then the third one is in a, uh, in a corner stair, and uh, then we're gonna continue this way here. Blah, 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 oops, like 
that. And last but not least on this side, third block corner stair and the rest of them as well. All right. Then to fill in these gaps, I'm going to use planks and placing them as well on these three blocks here. All right. Now for the second story up here, first of all, I'll use stone bricks and fill them in here on top and then add 12 blocks more, so two pillows of each six blocks high for five, six, like this. It's easier to first of all use uh, or start with these pillows because they are the base. They, most of them won't be uh, seen from the outside or not, not too much of them, but uh, it's just yeah easier to start this way. So then I want to place two stone brick blocks here, two here, so at each of those bases. Like this. Then use three oak woods with one fence on top. The fence is just for decorational um, matters. Like this. And now for covering these up, first of all I'm going to start by placing one upside down stone brick stair. I'm uh, going to continue with one regular and one upside down again. So, upside down, regular, upside down, upside down, regular, upside down, oops, and so on. On all of these sides, and then there's going to be a cobblestone wall on top of these. Alright. Now for the wall inside here, what I'm going to do is to take two stone brick blocks and place them on each side, then leave this one block free and place another stone brick block so that we end up with this kind of cross shape. Then I want to place one log here and one stone, uh, stone brick stair on top with an upside down stone brick stair here and facing the other direction here and an, uh, an upside down stair in the middle. This way we end up with this kind of pattern this block here on top, this is going to be a window, so I'm going to place a fence here. And then I'm placing three sideway logs with one log facing towards us here. And on top, I'm going to start by placing one upside down stair here, one regular in the, one in the middle, and one upside down here. So we're going to end up with this. Same thing, I'm going to show you this on this side. So first of all, these two blocks here, leaving one block free, one more. Same thing. And then once again, one log block, one stone brick stair, upside down, upside down, upside down, a fence for the window, and three sideway logs, one facing towards us, one upside down stair, one regular, one upside down, and that's it. So the last, or, well, before we are going to continue to the clock itself, we, get, we need one more layer, which is a little bit more complex. And for that I'm going to start by placing stone brick blocks, two here on this outer block, same on, of course, these blocks, here. And then one in the middle, or basically two blocks in the middle, like that. And then we'll need, uh, we are going to need stairs, place one like this, one like that. From, uh, if you stand here at this block and you look to the other sides, place one stair here, one there, with, a t uh, with an upside down stair in front of it, like this, using a top slab here, and two more stairs looking from the middle, so if you stand in the middle, just look to the outside and place it here. So not that you have the, other, uh, the, the stair facing the other direction, but like this. So this is the pattern I want to end up with. I'm going to do the same thing here, so uh, standing here, a stair, a stair, a stair, a stair, upside down, upside down, stair, stair, and a top slap, like this. Then I want to take cobblestone and fill this in. You can use cobblestone um, slabs or a top slab for this block here because you only need to cover up this quarter of a block here. That saves you some space uh, for the interior. Like this, and then I want to place a log so that you can see this quarter of a block of the log surface here. And of course there, and in this corner. 
And then I want to place sideway logs behind this. Like here. And simply to have it like here. And then I'm going to take a cobblestone wall, place one here, one on top of this top slab, one here, and so on. And then the last thing for this layer, what I want to do is to take fences and start at this block, so the the last stone brick block right beneath this first stone brick stair. Place one fence there and place two logs on top of that. Like this. All right, and in the next step, we're gonna build the clock itself. And for the clock, we're first of all going to need a frame. So I'm gonna start by placing one stone brick block here, using a stone, a top, um, upside down stone brick stair here, and turning this third st or the, the second stair in this row into a corner stair. I'm gonna take oak logs and place them on top here. There. And then I'm going to take stone brick slabs, place two here. I'm going to place an upside down stair here in front of that. With a stair when you uh, stand on this block in the middle and you look to the outsides, you will place one stair here and one stair on the other side. And then I'm going to take a stone brick wall, a uh, cobblestone wall, place them here. Place one stone brick block on top of them and one another cobblestone wall on top of that. And then I'm going to do the same thing just the other way around. So not a regular stair but an upside down stair right here. I'm going to place one stone brick block on top with two slabs to the sides. And then I'm going to place two upside down stone brick stair here which will be a supporting for the roof. On top of this one here, on top of the cobblestone wall, I want to add three um, lo logs, which is also a preparation for the roof itself. And then I want to take the stained clay, first of all the cyan one, and place one behind of these uh, st um, behind of these slabs, as well as behind of the top slabs, and behind these stairs right here. So this is the kind of frame we have, and for the rest I'm going to use the brown stained clay and fill in everything except for the middle one. I want to have the cyan, uh, stained clay here, right there. And for the roof, it's, uh, for, for the clock itself, what I want to do is to take fences, add three fences here, and a fence gate to this side. So I'm going to repeat this on this side. So first of all, one stone brick block, stone brick stair, oh, so upside down stone brick stair, corner stair, like this, then an upside down stair here, just as well as here, with a slab in the middle, and then one stair here, one stair there, stair. On this side we need to add once more a cobblestone wall with a stone brick block on top, with another uh, cobblestone wall, and then upside down stair, full block, slab, and upside down stone brick stairs and three logs on top here. And then we can use these blocks, of course, from the other side. So, cyan wool, uh, cyan clay is what I mean. And the brown one, and then it's time to make the clock again. There we go. And now I'm gonna time lapse the rest before moving on to the roof. Now what I usually do at this point is to add randomization using mossy and cracked stone bricks, which I will simulate right now. And then I'm gonna take a few details, as you can see, I added a few uh, mossy bricks and stuff. So what I want to do now is to add buttons to these logs that face towards us. 
down here and on this side. And then I want to take uh, wooden buttons and add them here. So these are the, the markings for 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 12 o'clock is covered by the, um, by the clock at the moment. So uh, let's do it like this. This is what I want to do here. Whoops. All right, like that. And now I want to move on to the roof. And for that, first of all, I'm going to start by uh, starting with uh, a slab here. Then it's a stair on top of this upside down stair here, like this. Then it's three planks here with three slabs in front of it. And then one th slab here, one here with a stair in the middle. Then it's three planks behind this with one stair from this side here and one stair on top here. Then it's a plank in the middle and a stair on top. And then I want to grab onto this and add another layer or basically two more log blocks like here. Then it's one plank behind these to cover up this uh, this quarter of a block hole here with two slabs, uh, two stairs. Then two planks, one stair, and then once again one log here. And then we're gonna need two more planks and one stair, and then we are at the middle. So I'm gonna do the same thing from this side to simply to have the, the rest of the um, roof showing. So slabs on these sides, stairs, three planks with three slabs, one slab here, one there, a stair in the middle, three planks here, two stairs to each side, plank, stair, then a plank here, a plank there, and we're going to need two logs on this side. Two more stairs here, two planks, one stair, and one log up here, and then the last one, two, uh, two planks and one stair. Ooh, getting confused by all these. And then what I want to do is to take, once again, cobblestone walls and place one here, one there, one there. So always on top of these. And when we do that from all sides, we're going to end up... The last thing we have to do is to place one plank here and one slab on top. And now, just as we did before, I'm going to time-lapse this from over here. And then the last logical step is, of course, to make the interior. In this case, I skipped it. I'm sorry, but I did. Uh, simply because the interior is so very basic that it's not really worth showing. So what I did was to make a beam or a pillar once going up all the way into the tower and to have separate layers and not really any decorations to the walls besides uh, torches. So uh, nothing really special, so everybody can do that on their own. Uh, the only thing I want to mention, uh, I made this staircase here, and one thing you want to keep in mind is simply that from an historical point of view, it makes most sense to have the staircase go uh, clockwise up into the tower. Because uh, if you walk this way, um, you can better defend the tower against attackers. So if, if, you are, if you are up here and you are defending the tower against attackers, then now your right arm is at perfect uh, swinging your sword position. And the person down here with the left arm holding the sword right now can't really land a good hit on you. So that was the, the, uh, the, the reason why most staircases in medieval castles and structures were clockwise. So you had to go um, to the right to get up. And uh, as you can see, it's just empty layers right here. And one thing I simply want to show you up where the clockwork 
uh, would be. Uh, right here we have this, this block missing here. And the reason why I did that is pretty much because I normally put down um, a lantern right here. Um, with some kind of source, of uh, power source here, and then I covered it up by using uh, beams and stuff like that, so probably like something like this, and uh, I don't know, filling these in, so pretty, pretty basic, nothing really special. The only th reason for it is that once we are outside again, and this will take us a while getting out of this tower, again, wait a minute, wait a minute. as you can see, now I can hit with my right arm everybody who's standing on the staircase. Um, the, the only reason for it is to light up um, the clock itself so that you can see it from afar and that it kind of sticks out of the, of the town a little bit. And one thing I like to do also is to take a slab and place a top slab in front of it so that you, when you stand up front here you can't really see uh, the, the source of the light. This is simply a thing that I enjoy to do. Uh, hiding the the light sources so that it kind of seems like yeah indirect lighting well and that is pretty much it so as always I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope you like the design and I want to kindly invite you to check out my Facebook fan page or my Planet Minecraft pages I have loads of stuff on there and um, post regularly on Facebook about news and uh, stuff that I don't show in my videos and questions and all those things so check it out if you want and with that there's nothing really left to say for me but I've been Madness64 and as always please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew and become a mate today to see you will and hopefully we'll see you next time Bye-bye.